folks, welcome back once again. Here we are. It is Thursday. Time for the queue. It is, uh, what, 3.30 Eastern Standard Time here, p.m. in the holy city of Charleston, South Carolina. It is January 4th. Our snow is finally melting, although the city is still shut down. But, hey, that's not stopping us from giving you some trivia once again. That's right. We're in the middle of Winter Storm Grayson. I'm not talking about uh, Grayson Allen, the Duke great basketball player. And I'm your host, Joseph Monahan, your host from the snowy southeast coast. Folks, if you pay attention this game all the way through, what I'm going to do at the end of the game is I will give you a free answer for the next game. That's right. Don't forget to stick around for that. We've got almost 5,000 people in today's game. We are back in the Google Play Store uh, once again. So if you or your friends or family were looking for an update uh, to download the game, we're back in the Google Play Store. So that's exciting. What's more exciting is we've got a chance to give out $200 once again today, and I would love for you to be the winner, folks. That includes you, A. Joe, and B-Man out there. All right, 12 questions. That's the format once again. Three options for each, uh, each question. Each question, you get about eight seconds to answer. We're going function over fashion today, folks. We got the mic cord just sliding right up. There's no secrets here. We're just comfortable. It's a snow day. Let's get this baby started. What do you say? 12 questions, three options, eight seconds. Here we go. Tech question. Question number one. Steve Jobs was what? The founder of Microsoft, the founder of Apple, or a pirate? That's right. We threw a pirate in there. If you selected that one already, I kind of just gave you a quick answer or a quick heads up. The founder of Microsoft, Apple, or a pirate. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Jobs was the founder of Apple. So congratulations to over 4,300 of you that got that one right. Steve Jobs, the legend that got fired by his own company, by his own board of directors, then rehired sometime later. Uh, yes, that was the man, founder of Apple. Congratulations, 4,300 moving on. Just like that to question number two. Question number two, which state was the last to join the United States? Was it Hawaii, Alaska, or North Dakota? The last one to join the last two stars that the flag got. Who was it, Hawaii, Alaska, or North Dakota? We've got 49 and 50 up there, Alaska and Hawaii. So that narrows it down. What was the last one? 2766 of you nailed it. Hawaii, the final state to join the United States. Uh, Puerto Rico often referred to as the 51st state. But that's not what we were asking. We didn't want to confuse you. Didn't want to throw that into question number two. And with that, folks, we are moving on to question number three, a sports question for you all. Which tennis star currently holds the number one ranking in the world in men's singles? Is it Will Jameson, Rafael Nadal, or Novak Djokovic? Number one in the world. Who is it, folks? I'll tell you, it's not Will Jameson. Will Jameson was a standout tennis player for the College of Charleston club team. Didn't make it to the, uh, to the world rankings. And folks, Rafael Nadal is the man that you're looking for. Rafael Nadal is the answer there. And 1288 of you knew that baby and are moving on to question number four. Just like that, one quarter of the game down, folks. Question number four is going to be a history question for you all. Here we go. Which of the following civil rights activists was not assassinated? Was it W.E.B. Du Bois, Martin Luther King Jr., or Malcolm X? Who was it, folks? And yes, the answer is the man with a French last name who decided to throw that French pronunciation out the window. He went with Du Bois as the pronunciation. And 1049 of you, moving on with that one. Congratulations. That's a, a very high percentage. Smart folks out there know your history very well. And with that, we're moving on to question number five, a mix of pop culture and sports. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? All right. Which of the following is it not a Barstool Sports personality? Is it PFT commenter Darren Ravel or Big Cat? Who is it, folks? Not a Barstool Sports personality. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, the answer here works for another company, another sports company out there. And yes, it is Darren Ravel, not a Barstool Sports personality. Uh, PFT commenter and Big Cat are the folks behind Pardon My Take podcast, one of the number one podcasts out there. If you haven't heard it yet, feel free to tune in. That's one that I listen to as, as well as Bill Burr, my favorite comedian out there. Question number six, folks. Keep it rolling. At which university was Gatorade invented? Was it University of Florida, Princeton University, or Ohio State University? Gatorade was invented here. And yes, if you if you put a couple of those together, Gator in the last name or in the name there. So Florida Gators kind of gives it away there. And 402 of you have nailed that and are moving on to the second half of this quiz show. Second half of the game. Question number seven. Here we go. Which of the following is not a former name for St. Petersburg, Russia? 
Is it Leningrad, Stalingrad, or Petrograd? Not a former name for St. Petersburg. It switched around a little bit. And B is your correct answer, folks. Stalingrad, which is now known as Volgograd, is your answer. So 23% of you, just 23, we are officially under 100. We've got five questions to go. Let's see how many people can split this $200. Here we go, folks. Target was originally known as what? The Dayton Dry Goods Company, the Price Club, or Minneapolis Grocer and Reseller. Who was it, folks? Former name for Target. I know we've got some Target.